So I'm going to discuss to you what is the techniques for diagnosing computer systems. If you want to know what is it, just keep on watching. Techniques for diagnosing computer system. Computer diagnosing. Sometimes when the problem with the system is not totally apparent and the problem may, may be intermittent, using a basic common diagnosing procedure may help determine what is wrong. This procedure has a number of steps that if followed each other can be of help. Rules in diagnosing computer system. 1. Know the facts. Educate of oneself on all aspects and operation of computer part. Continuous learning on computer technology. 2. Use your common sense. Third, focus on the field replaceable units. Identify the different types of FRU that can be used for replacement or sub-assembly. Fourth, proper assembly and disassembly. Fifth, factor causing computer failure and defects. People wear. Untrained personnel would probably damage program in PC. Firmware. Program of software burned in chips may be corrupted. Software. Corrupted operating system would cause the system to fail. Hardware. Defective hardware components would be lead to computer malfunction. Hardware conflicts and viruses can hinder your computer's performance. ESD or electrostatic discharge. Electrostatic discharge can easily damage sensitive component in your computer. Electricity. Incoming supply of AC outlet must be regulated. Power surge can damage computer units. Problem in solution. Problem in solution is the defective work in which you need to determine what is out of the ordinary by making detailed observation of what is not working normally and record any information as you proceed. Component insulation. This section will aid the determining component is in your system which are failing. First, most systems have three major components, monitor, system units, and printers. Diagnostics Procedure for ATX Power Supply Failures First, determine whether or not the power comes on. Second, check the switch operation with the digital voltmeter on the continuity or resistance setting. Third, check the pins if the corresponding voltage are properly regulated to the motherboard. Fourth, Replace the power supply unit if defective. This is the example of ATX version 1 to 2, 20 wires, motherboard connectors. And this is the flowchart for ATX power supply repair.